Welcome to 22nd of Mass Godly Blessing. So either we are giving happiness to people in some way or the other, not by buying things by the way, or we are making them feel sad at every moment. That is by comparing, competing or bragging about the self on a worldly basis. Yes, you can make people sad. You can make people feel lower and lesser than you if you're bragging. So God here tries to tell us that it is important to give happiness, become a bestower of happiness. Let's go through this. God says, may you be a master bestower of happiness and constantly give the experience of happiness to all souls who come into contact with you. Now, generally when we meet people, we generally talk about worldly things, right? What am I doing? What are you doing? Then we try to size up. Is he earning more than me? Is she earning more than me? Is he better looking than me? Is he got better clothes than me? Where does he stay? What is his location? And all those things we try to find out, right? So many things which are all worldly. And we try to size up the person and size ourselves up. Actually, our self-respect has become so conditioned that we are at all times making our self-respect, self-value go up and down depending on the kind of person comes in front of us and whom we meet. So that's what God says, you're always feeling sad, but if you are soul conscious, then you won't be sad and you won't be talking body conscious things with others. You'll be talking soul conscious things with others. You won't be comparing, competing with others on an external basis. So God says, may you be a master bestower of happiness and constantly give the experience of happiness, experience of happiness to all souls who come into contact with you. You are a master bestower of happiness, a child of the bestower of happiness. He is the bestower of happiness. How does he bestow happiness? He gives us the knowledge that consider yourself to be a soul. That is your reality, not this physical reality. Then our attention moves towards soul consciousness. What values and what virtues, what qualities do I have as compared to how much wealth do I have? What certifications, what the primary people I know in this world and who and who's all those things go away slowly from our mind and that's where we become happy. Our happier happiness doesn't depend upon worldly things or attainment of worldly things or finishing worldly goals or achieving worldly goals. Our happiness is there constantly in doing anything and everything under Godly guidance. So then God says, and so continue to accumulate in your account of happiness. Do not just check that you did not cause sorrow for anyone throughout the day. So we generally check as meditators, Raj Yogis, we check before sleeping or in the next day morning getting up. Did I do something bad yesterday? Did I do something evil yesterday that I made somebody feel bad? Did I do that? No. But check how many, how many you give, you gave happiness to. That means how many people you made feel better in their own skin. Did you make them feel soul conscious by making them focus on their qualities and virtues as compared to talking about worldly things? Whoever comes into contact with you, let them experience happiness at every step by your being a master bestower of happiness. And people feel happy when you talk about their talents, talk about their qualities, talk about their virtues, talk about their patience and many more things. And you can make them focus on what qualities they, do they have. This is known as divinity and spirituality. This is known as divinity and spirituality. Remain aware at every moment that in this one birth, you have to accumulate in your account of happiness for 21 births. So if we give happiness to others, it's going to come back to us. And the more we give happiness to others, the more it's going to come back to us, not just in this birth, but we are talking about 21 births. That's what God says. So are you accumulating for 21 births? Are you making people happier so much that in the next 21 births, they're ready to make you feel happy? It depends on that. What is it? So our main primary focus in Brahma Kumaris is to make people feel happy and content in their own skin. And not to compete and not to make them feel sad and not to make them feel jealous of you. That is not happiness. Bragging can make them feel jealous. And there's so many other things. Om Shanti with this.